Hey guys, welcome to Baby Jiggy. I'm um, here, my netball team won a game, and I'm excited. I five to all the girls that did an awesome job. Awesome job. Anyways, guys, how has your week been? As you can see, our co presenter had an amazing Friday night. Her team won. My week has been also pretty good. This week, on Facebook, I met this amazing, amazing individual um, uh, by the name of Ad Adara, and I'm sorry if I pronounced it wrong. And she does a little Facebook page called Dear Adara, Silencing the Solitude of Mental Illness, and she deals, she's got her own problems and issues and whatnot, and, but she still, through all of that, she has the courage to go and help, offer the help to other people that are dealing with depression and other such issues. I I think you are awesome and what you do. So if you guys will need someone to talk to and you're a teenager, you know, on Facebook, go Dear Dara and yeah, they'll be there and you can talk to her and she's very, very good at what she does. So yes. Anyways, guys, on on the 8th of July I did a show and if you all remember, there was a story about a lady by the name of Alison Newham, who had her, who rented her house to another lady that was not so well off, and then that that lady messed her house up, and there was a fifty thousand dollar damage bill. Um, luckily for uh, Alison, someone came to her rescue. Front page, yes. Um, some anonymous donor saw her story and donated $25,000 to her cause to help her renovate her house and get it back in order so she could either use that as, as her own rental or live in it or whatnot. So that is pretty cool and Alison's very happy. I know KDC, who's our sponsors, um, KDC Disposals, they also offered to help her with the cleanup. Um, yeah, I don't know if they got a call up or not, but you know, and there was a lot of help for her and she's in a lot better place now than she was when the story broke a couple of weeks ago. Anyways, I'm sure everyone's heard it and some of you have seen it. Um, hopefully some of you will send me the pictures. If you've seen it, uh, pictures on to jiggy.shimkusatlive.com.au Twitter, it's in bed with Jiggy. Instagram, also in bed with Jiggy. Uh, Snapchat, in bed with Jiggy. <laughs> I'm everywhere. It's like social. I'm a social butterfly, darling. Anyways, yeah. A German, if you've seen it, Fedor Kan Kanyukov, and I'm really sorry if I pronounced it wrong, dude, comrade, a, a Russian uh, Orthodox priest. He flew around the world in his hot air balloon, and it took him 11 days and four hours to circumnavigate the world, which is breaking the previous record by nearly two days, or just over two days, which is pretty, pretty awesome. I mean, can you imagine the things he saw from the air, from the balloon? It is amazing. I mean. Wow, I would love to do it if I had the patience and stuff like that. But I think that's pretty awesome. Apparently the first thing he did was sleep. Because on your own, your sleeping is very limited. So, Fedor, congrats dude. Anyway, Danny Green. Yes! Danny Green and Anthony Mundane have finally decided they're going to fight it out again. You yeah, know, last time Anthony won a unanimous point decision, and that was 2006. And they finally decided they're going to do it again. Hopefully, they can manage to bring it back to Perth and they can do it here. It will be awesome. I cannot wait. That's going to be an amazing, amazing fight. It's boxing, of course. If you don't know who Danny Green who doesn't know who Danny Green is? Um, yeah, they gonna, they've been having this feud for about 15 years now. Um, and Danny, buddy, you know that little snub you pulled off at HBF run for a reason? You know, like, sure, run from Ziggy. Uh, you know, I think to make it nice and so we don't have this issue again, some tickets to the fight would be awesome. You know, I'm not saying anything, but I feel it would be nice. You know, just because that was rude of you just to run away from me like that at the run. But, you know, it's up to you. A ball is in your court now. Anyway. Australian Olympians are getting gearing up for the Rio Olympics. They've already left and most of them are there already getting ready and sailing in. The committee has sent over 45,000 condoms for the Olympians. 
Guys, you're not there to screw like rabbits. You're there to win gold. Get your head in the game and not think with the other head. And, you know, we do a lot better than, yeah. Anyways, no sex before competition. Or is that just my coaches? But anyways, guys, let's hope you all do your best and the country's all behind you. And, you know, from the team at in here in Belvijigi, wish you all the luck and... You know, be good, be strong, keep your head in the game. Anyways, um, some of you might remember Bo Chatley. He's the gentleman that got injured in a little accident and playing footy. Yeah, that's Bo. Yes. Yeah, he's uh, he got injured. He managed um, dislocate his neck and fractured two vertebrae. He's been on and a lot of surgeries and Royal Perth Hospital and stuff like that. Um, yeah, his dad said that um, with all the support from family and friends and some total strangers has been great for Bo and, you know, if you guys know him, please keep on keeping on and being positive and sending him positive vibes. You know, from all of us here at KDC, uh, KDC and in Baby Jiggy, we like to wish you all good, all good luck, and um, you know if you need to vi visit from a complete and utter stranger, I'm your man. You know I'll even wear my Ch Chester Cat outfit for you, dude. I think you're an amazing individual, and you need all the praise that you know. It's it's gonna be a great recovery for you. It's gonna be big, but I think you can do it. You know, an old geezer like me did it, so a youngster like you, not an issue. But for those who are willing to donate and help the family with his medical costs, because it is skyrocketing, you can log on to oscrowd.com forward dash campaign forward dash 2989. That's again oscrowd.com forward dash campaign 29 forward dash 2989. And you know, dig in and help the cause. It is for where the cause, after, after all, we're Australians, we stick together. Also, this week, <clears throat> Australians have been crowned as world champions. As that means we are number one in not other sport, but this amazing, amazing sport called Quidditch. 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 Yes. Yes, for some of you who don't know what it is, it is from Harry Potter. Yes, read up Harry Potter and you'll find out what Quidditch is. It is played on broomsticks. So... Yeah, I don't know if they have to file in flight plans or whatnot, but yeah, Quidditch is a national, international sport, and Australia is number one. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Anyways, um, another thing this week that I saw, um, on page nine on Wednesday paper, it was a big article or section. Was a nice big thank you to Fiona Stanley Hospital. And St. John's Ambulance from Lewis Mostert uh, from One and Up for saving a person's life who was having a serious heart attack. Um, great driving, got it, got to the person in time, saved him or her. And yeah, it was amazing. And person wanted to say thank you very much. So, Lewis, congratulations, and it's awesome. All the guys at St. John's, you are all legends. Therefore, this week, KDC, Legend of the Weeks, goes to all the people at St. John's Ambulance Services. You guys are amazing. Sadly, I have had to use you before for a very similar situation. But, you know, we're not talking about that. So, it's all to you guys. From my friend, Uncle Jackie. Congrats. And, yeah, you are all KDC Legends of the Week. Peace out. See you next week.